Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Let's get straight to the point. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open settings, or simply click the Windows icon and search for settings. Next, go to System, then click on Storage from the left-hand menu. Now, look for the option called Configure Storage Sense or Run It Now, and click on it. Scroll down to the bottom and click Clean Now. Make sure the option Delete Temporary Files that my apps aren't using is checked. Let it finish running. And just like that, your PC is cleaned. I freed up 165 megabytes of space, but you might get even more if you've never done this before. Let me know in the comments. How much space did you free up? Alright, let's move on to step 2. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Type Temp and press Enter. A folder with many files will open. These are temporary system files. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Press Shift plus Delete to permanently delete the files, skipping the recycle bin. If a message pop up, check do this for all current items and click skip for items in use. Now open the run dialog again. Type percent %10% percent and hit enter. These are user-specific temp files, mostly leftovers from app installs, browsing, and daily activity. Follow the same process we used earlier and remove all the files. Why this step is important. The temp folder stores temporary files created by Windows and third-party apps. These are meant to be deleted automatically, but in reality, they just sit there, taking up gigabytes of space and even slowing down your PC. Regularly clearing this folder can give your system a noticeable boost in speed and free space. Now open the Run Run dialog. Type Prefetch and hit Enter. Since I've done this step earlier, I don't have many files left. But for you, you'll likely see a lot. So go ahead and delete them one final time. These are files used to speed up app launch, but they get outdated and stack up over time. Step 3. Let's free up more space by removing outdated update files. Press the Windows key and type this PC, then open it. Go to your local disk, C, then scroll down and open the Windows folder. Inside, find and open the folder called Software Distribution. Now, open the download folder. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything, then press Shift plus Delete to permanently remove the files. These are temporary update files that Windows stores during the update process. Deleting them is safe and helps free up disk space, especially if some updates failed or have already been installed. If some files can't be deleted, it's okay. Just skip them. Step 4. Click the Windows icon and search for Services. Open the Services app you'll see a gear icon or scroll icon. In the list, scroll down until you find Sysmay. Right-click it, then click Properties. Under Startup Type, select Disabled. Click Stop to turn off the service if it's currently running. Click Apply, then OK to save the changes. You've now disabled Sysmay, which can help your PC run smoother, especially during startup or multitasking. Disabling it can free up system resources and improve overall performance. Step 5. All right, now let's clean up unnecessary system files using the built-in disk cleanup tool. First, open the Run dialog. Then type this command and hit Enter. This opens the disk cleanup window. Now choose your main drive, usually local disk, C, and click OK. Now, when the list appears, check all the boxes. This will make sure Windows deletes everything that's safe to remove. Once selected, hit OK, then click Delete Files to confirm. This process might take a few minutes, but once it's done, you've just freed up a good chunk of disk space. Step 6. Step 6. Clear the component store. This helps reduce the space used by Windows update backups and old system files. We'll clean it using a built-in Windows tool called DISM. Type the command you'll find in the description below into command prompt as administrator. This can take a few seconds depending on your system. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button 
And let's jump into step seven. Sometimes your internet gets slow or acts weird because of outdated DNS records. Let's flush them and give your network a little boost. Type the following command and hit enter. You'll see a message, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And that's it. Your PC just cleared all stored DNS records. It won't make your internet 10x faster, but it can help solve certain connection issues. All right, let's wrap things up with the final step and give your PC one last boost. Uninstall and use programs. Now let's get rid of apps you no longer need. These programs take up space and can slow down your system. If you see any apps that, that you don't need, just click on them and press uninstall to remove them from your PC. It's that simple and every bit of space counts. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, smash that like button. It means a lot and helps me improve. And if you're greedy like me, go watch the next recommended video to make your PC even faster in under four minutes.